Coming up next, it's a UFC women's strawweight division matchup. She's one of the more exciting fighters in this or any division and really came into the UFC with some legitimate striking credentials and she's put those to good use in the big show. And that's why everybody was so excited about her UFC debut. They understood that they were about to witness something truly special. A striker, a fighter with an ability to finish fights with her legs, with her hands, with her elbows, with her knees. There was nothing, no tool at her disposal that she would not use. She was going to use everything gifted to her, and she has done that, and that's why her performances have been so great in the UFC. Yeah, she does not discriminate. She is a true, tried and tested eight-point striker, so try to put on a striking clinic here tonight. All right, so here she is, the decorated kickboxer, back for another run here in the UFC. Such a wide, vast array of kicks and punches in her arsenal, but it all comes back to elite technique. Oh yeah, she has phenomenal technique. There is no wasted action. What I really love is the left hook. She does a great job of throwing her left hook behind her right hand. She throws the right hand and the left hook follows. It's always so tight, it's always so clean. And then outside leg kick, every combination ends with a kick. When you think it's over, she is putting one more technique, one more opportunity to put some damage on you before you get to go back to space and go back to the safety of her out of your face, which will only last for a short period of time. She certainly has a crowd-pleasing style. No surprise to see her back in a high-profile slot here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a boxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, seven losses. She stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, Bam Bam. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of two wins, no losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 108 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA Assassin. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Well, she won her last fight by knockout. Now as round one gets underway, we'll see if she can keep that momentum going. She certainly made headlines last time out. Now she'll try to keep it going against someone who has been entrenched in the rankings for some time. Man, these kicks by her are just solid, and she is showing no signs of slowing down. No signs of slowing down. She can throw as many kicks as her opponent will allow her to. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, wow! Huge head kick. Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Back to the feet. Big kick. Oh, big head kick there. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Oh. Powerful leg kick lands. All you know about her kick, she's got him going tonight. Oh man, that's what we call shin on soul. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Oh, she's looking to set up that head kick, no good. Double leg here. Back to the feet. Knee to the body. Big punch to the body. Oh, beautiful execution by her there with that knee. We'll see if she follows it up. Really good job of managing space and knowing that she had the right distance to land that knee. Another nice knee there. Beautiful takedown land. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a... Oh! Oh! Scrambled eggs! I mean, that is 
is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Big knee to the body. Well, we told you off the top her offensive wrestling was off the charts. She gets another takedown there. Now we'll see what she can do. Now she looks to try and control her opponent because she's gotten a ton of takedowns, and it's awesome to see. But at some point, she needs to get some ground control if she truly wants to wear down her opponent. Big kick land. Another nice kick by her there, and there's a lot of fighters. Oh! You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Trying to stay in this fight. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Well, she did not miss a single grappling practice during this training camp, and round two winding down. Hey, stop! Flammable. That horn signifies the end of the round. And quite frankly, after that knockdown with the head kick, I didn't think we'd get here. It's a merciful horn. We're happy to hear the horn because she was getting brutalized. She was getting beat up to the body. But the big moment was when her opponent took the kick high and knocked her down. She's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Nice liver shot. Unbelievable. Back to the feet. Beautiful level change. Feet now. Oh! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than. Oh! She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Oh, nice. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. And she's back up again. So the takedowns have been there. So have the get-ups. Big knee lands. So pretty good volume with the knees there in that exchange. Just oh, it looks like she is entering for another takedown. Here she is, and she's able to secure it once again. She was able to get it again. I don't know how to explain to this fighter, to her opponent, how to stop it because she's making it look so easy every time she attacks a takedown. So she goes to the kick and promptly lands. Nicely done there. She has done that over and Dates right here. She's, hurt. she's hurt very bad. I don't know if she's going to be able to recover from this. Oh, man. You can never know what you're going to see with this young lady. Is she going to finish the fight? Back to the feet. Yeah, that 
that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So big, big knockout win for her here tonight. Well, there she is. Man, did she have it going here tonight as she gets the huge win by knockout. Near perfect execution, and that could be one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 4 minutes, 54 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by Knockout Assassin. Well, there she is. This arena belongs to her here tonight. Hard pressed to find a knockout in the women's game as stunning as that. I mean, she has so much confidence in her hand that she's willing to stand in front of her opponent and take one to give one. And when she gave one, it shut the opponent's lights out. Great job finding that kill shot. And coming up next, it's a UFC strawweight division matchup. For my money, she is as accomplished a striker as any woman in the game at present. Tonight, though, she's got to focus on keeping this fight upright. She has to stay on her feet. If she is taken down early, it will be a long night for her. She has to manage the space. She has to sprawl and brawl, and she has to fight with that ferocity that she is known for. It's the aggressive attitude, the aggressive approach that she takes that makes her one of the more exciting fighters in the UFC. And she told us in our fighter meeting on Thursday, she doesn't necessarily want to fight on a napkin in the center of the octagon, right? She wants to control distance, manage range effectively. She has certainly done that every step of the way thus far in her UFC career. Well, she's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym, and in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle, I don't want to do jiu-jitsu, I don't want to kick box and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of four wins, no losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 108 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of eight wins, two losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA, Mackenzie Gunn. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? Well, she won her last fight by knockout. Now is oh. times in this fight she's gone back to the well with that hit she is landing it over and over again so why would she abandon it it is such well clearly she wanted to get this fight to the ground to try to fatigue the striker early mission accomplished so far mission accomplished even her team couldn't have imagined that it would work so early in the fight great timing on that takedown How good is her movement here on the ground, right? Shades of Ray Borg just transitioning so beautifully. Yeah, she's so good at transitions. Oh, going for the arm bar now. That might be tight. 
Gotta be careful, Armbar. Oh, nice job by her. Nicely done. Oh, her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. Might get it here. She does a really good job of throwing punches with intent. She never just throws just to be throwing. Every punch is meant to land, and every punch is meant to start a finish. All right, so the ground and pound strikes continue to land. She's not staying busy for the sake of it. She is doling out damage. She's landing a lot of punishing ground and pound, and this is going to really zap her opponent as they get back to the feet. Oh, well played there as she gets back to her feet. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. And she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Oh, she put everything into that one. Huge kick. lands there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Real sneaky body kick. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Big kick lands. Round two straight ahead. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, round two. Dig and kick. Well, there's no denying her power. She has been pretty accurate here tonight, but she's the type of fighter when she goes to the drive through window. She's just getting the sandwich. She's not getting the combo here. That's embarrassing. <laughs> That's embarrassing. You're going to go and order a sandwich. That allows your opponent to stay in the fight. Give him the entire combo. Buy the french fries. Buy the drink. Really put it on her. Go get her. Extend that combination. Be confident. Go and try to find something that's going to end this fight. Huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. And a knee. Now she's got the Muay Thai plump. There. I'm not sure her opponent knows where she is. She's in the octagon. She can't possibly know where she is right now after taking such a massive hit. Just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So big, big knockout win for her here tonight. And there she is after the huge knockout here tonight. What a moment for this fighter. You can't help but feel good for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 45 seconds of round number two. Join the winner by knockout assassin. Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV. It'll be on the news. It'll be available everywhere she turns for the next few weeks, and this is a massive moment for her.